Hi guys, it's Lord Above All and sorry about not being able to upload any videos. My computer's overheating and it, uh, it won't basically run for long enough to upload a video. But I'm with Virgin Media for my broadband and yesterday they fitted a Superhub 2 because uh, I was complaining for the last six months about the Superhub 1 being so shit it doesn't give me any wireless coverage. And uh, what they do is they'll give you this router which is a D-Link DIR615 as a to run in modem mode so basically this isn't like a normal router um, in terms of the fact that you don't have a DSL cable or ADSL cable which is one of those thin ones that goes into a filter on your telephone line or it doesn't have a, a cable input like you do see on a Superhub or Superhub 2 or any kind of cable broadband or cable TV service it has a normal Ethernet cable as your internet feed and it has normal Ethernet out for your peripherals like your Xboxes, your computers, laptops, whatever. And the great feature of this as I discovered today was that it's got a checkbox on it that enables it to be become an access point. And the beauty of that is in my garage I don't really have any wireless coverage. I mean with the Super Hub 2 it's improved to about three bars, but that's about it. It's not ideal, but I've only got one internet feed here. I've put a wire underground from my garage to my house and this is plugged in directly via a switch to my super hub 2 and initially it was just that one port was going to my 360 and um, that's it I was a bit stuck otherwise and basically I managed to find out that yeah it does accept wireless uh, access ports and I managed to plug it in and get it set up but one thing you need to be careful with is with this router it shares the same IP address as your super hub 2 so what happens is when you when you click that button, that wireless uh, access point enable, uh, you can't access this router properly anymore. It's a bit more difficult. So what I suggest is just sort out your wireless names and passwords first, your channels and everything, and then just enable the checkbox and you'll be ready to go. The interesting thing I actually found out was the, the reason I'm making this video is because this is, is still behaving like a normal router. I mean, I'm using an internet... I'm using the internet feed like an access point like this old D-Link one I had which is a piece of shit I mean I've had a lot of trouble to set it up since uh, six months ago it was working fine for two years it still powers up I've got everything with it it just needs to be configured and I, I don't know why it's not working so if you wanna if you want it just uh, message me if you want to look at the software it's a DWL 2000AP plus um, nothing wrong with it uh, well, with circuitry wise everything's working it's just software you just need to sort it out properly uh, it's not missing anything if you want it just message me and I'll send it to you just basically PayPal me the postage cost and you can take it for free I don't want it but the interesting thing is it's still behaving like a router and I thought hang on let me just try and put one cable from the wall into the internet port so fine now it's working as an access point then I thought let me plug my Xbox into it and see how it behaves and actually it's it sorted my Xbox up beautifully I mean I've got <laughs> I've got an actual uh, Ethernet port there so it's still acting like a router but it's getting a feed as an access point so technically you could put these everywhere and just give yourself feeds so to get these from Virgin Media if you're a customer just say I want to run my um, super hub in modem mode and uh, what router would you suggest that would be ideal and they'll basically give you one of two routers one being this one or one being a Netgear one which I haven't received but this is what it looks like I mean you just get a plain white box gets delivered to you in a packet um, and it's, it. it's just a generic box and it comes in like this I mean, this is the second one I got because I wanted them to send me the Netgear one as well, just so I could try it. Um, it's decent as a, as a router, but, I mean, it's not adequate for a five-bedroom house with a garage that's extended outside. So, I mean, it would work as a good router, but I'm using it as an access point. So, yeah, you can see all his connections. His default router address as well, it's not focusing. There we go. Um, that's it. And it's a pretty decent router, I haven't got any issues with it. I mean, it's got his reset thing there, so if you do fuck up, you can use that. 
and it's got all the lights. What comes with it, it comes with a stand, ethernet cable and a power pack and also wall mounting fittings. I mean, you know, just generic D-Link, they always give you these. Um, and that's it, it's just brilliant. I mean, I haven't got any issues with it. It's doing my job well and I've got more kind of infinite ports here now. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you need any details of this router or you want to like basically find out how to get it if you if you can't get it they're pretty cheap on eBay I was looking they're around three quid because I was thinking of selling that one um, three quid used I mean if I've still got that one that I just showed you lying about feel free to message me and you can buy it off me for a fiver plus postage it's brand new I haven't even turned it on um, and you, you should be able to enjoy that uh, but yeah it's really it's a, it's a great router Thanks for watching.